Oh, welcome to Epcal. We are going to be going. We are back at Calvertson again. And I see a bunch of cars over there. I don't know what's going on. And there are a bunch of cars parked over there in that spot you see over there. So that's what I mean. You have a lot of disturbance of wildlife down here. I don't know what those cars are doing. You can, you can see down there. You're probably not going to be able to. But let's try to zoom that in a little bit for you. So I don't know what they're doing back there. But again, this is supposed to be preserved. People are driving their vehicles here. That's why I'm here to take a video to show you what we have here. I don't know what those cars are doing, but we're going to find out because we're heading in that direction. Yeah, it's beautiful pines here, huh? Yeah, I don't know what those cars are doing over there, but I have a big problem with that. I'm going to go over there in a minute. It looks like they're training dogs over there or something. Well, I have a feeling they're going to yell at me and tell me I'm not supposed to hike here. Well, I'm going to tell them. Now, last time, remember I left? We're not leaving this time. Like, no, I'm here. You learn to share the woods. All right. Yeah, there's going to be turkey hunting this spring, too. You got New York loves hunting. They love killing things in New York. What can I tell you? These beautiful shapes here. Beautiful, huh? Unfortunately, I gotta deal with what's going on over there. You got hunters training dogs, parking on the grass. This is how would they even have permission to do that? The riverhead gave them permission because they don't give a sh they don't give a crap about the environment. And they gotta tell me I gotta leave. Well, we're gonna film it all. I've had it. I'm standing my ground this time. I don't care if they've got guns. Somebody has got to stand up for the pine barrens. So yeah, they're, I don't know what they're doing over there. They're training dogs. We'll zoom in for you again. So they're training dogs. So somehow they have permission to drive on this road and park here in the middle of the, of the of grassland and train their hunting dogs. See, now if I wasn't here, nobody would hear, no, no one would be here to show you what's going on in our pine barrens. All right. So again, they're driving vehicles onto the grass here. Where do they get permission for this? I mean, look at these shapes here. Yeah, I'm going to have to face them. They're training their dogs, their hunting dogs. Like, do you even have permission to drive over here and park here? They probably get permission from the town of Riverhead. Because the town of Riverhead doesn't care about the environment. Some beautiful shapes here, man. I have to have the camera rolling when I walk by because I get harassed. Park just in the spot that I wanted to take a bunch of pictures of. And, you know, how are they allowed to do that? Tell me how. All right, well, we're probably going to have a confrontation here, so Carly would tell me I'm not allowed to hike here. I can't remember what happened the last time. They're training their dogs here. I mean, they obviously did get permission, you know, but this is what I mean. There's no... There's no supervision here. How's the DEC allow this? This is not a road that people can drive on. They just do it anyway. Well, it's one thing to drive on, and you're parking on it too. I got all these loose dogs now that are come chasing me. Oh, look at these shapes here though. It's absolutely beautiful. Maybe they're gonna get. Maybe they're gonna go. Absolutely beautiful area here. All right. Well, we're gonna have to walk past those people now. They don't say anything to me. They took. Their, they're out having their dogs run around. Yeah. Why don't they park on the runway and do it? Why do they have to be right by the woods here and do it? That's my problem with it. Absolutely beautiful. Look at these shapes here. All right, let's walk past here and, and show you what's going on. 
got a beautiful vista see uh, I'm out here hiking and they're I don't know what they're doing they got all their vehicles parked here another beautiful vista these pines are getting tall now oh, yeah look at that beautiful all right we're gonna walk past these vehicles hopefully nobody says anything to me I haven't said anything to me. Look at these shapes here. Oh, man. All right, luckily they were friendly. They didn't say anything bad to me. Look at these shapes here. I didn't. I was worried because of what happened when I was at Sarnoff that time. You see why I care so much about this place? They were asking me what I was taking pictures of. Oh, you see any birds? I guess because that's what they hunt. Can't just sit here and enjoy this beauty. Look at these shapes here, man. Most people just can't appreciate how beautiful this is. We're entering the pure pitch pine area. Let's go. It's a nice little clearing area over here. We're gonna check out. Look at this. I mean, this is just. How can anyone think of selling this to a developer? What is wrong with people? absolutely beautiful here look at this I mean this is like one of the most beautiful pine barrens areas on Long Island this is nothing but pines here it's absolutely spectacular it's all pines here very much like you're in New Jersey it's a nice little field area I want to make sure I come here and it's cold it was below freezing this morning so or the ticks. Oh man, look at these shapes here. Oh, beauties. Some big beauties here. Absolutely beautiful spot here. Big beauty. Beautiful clothes, but if you look closely there, zoom it in a little bit here. You can see some trash. I don't know what that is. This looks like concrete benches. I mean, they're just dumping this stuff in here. We're gonna check that out, actually. Let's go. Look at the beauty here. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? Made it to the top of the mountain here. Let's see what is this stuff here. So I gotta report all this stuff. What is this? I mean, what is this stuff? You know, I mean, well, I'm gonna take a picture of it and document it. It would create this pit. No idea. Could be a glacier. That's what I'm thinking. Some kind of glacial erratic dry kettle I have a big piece of glut when the last ice age happened you had a big piece of ice that just kind of depressed the ground over here so it creates all these unique landscapes on Long Island you don't have that in New Jersey well nor north you do but not in the main New Jersey Pine Barrens you can see lots and lots of uh, reindeer like and clumps of it all over the place kind of just going around the rim because I don't feel like climbing out of it again. Go all around here. This could be filled with water. Look at this. This is beautiful. What a landscape. Beautiful little dry kettle. All right, let's 
I know. Sometimes they will fill with water. All right, we can just bushwhack our way out of here, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Find the way we are before and, oh, it's beautiful, look at that. It's too bad that other stuff is there. That shouldn't be there, I don't know what that is. I already took a picture of it, I don't know what that is. Here we go again, see this is what I mean. What is this doing here? See, now, you know this came from the drag racing. What the heck is this doing here? See what I mean? And we're gonna walk by that drag racing area in a little bit. Yep, I wonder how that got there. Gee, I wonder how. Emerging from the woods here. I can feel it warming up already. <sighs> Take a look at this. Wow. You can see those groups again. They're practicing, they're hunters practicing or something, but again, whatever it is, that's what it is. They just come here to hunt. Them. I don't really appreciate, like, what are you taking pictures of? Uh, the trees. It's beautiful here. I don't know. Look at this. Oh, man. Delicious. Just incredible shapes here, man. Just incredible shapes here. See, this is way too early. You can see they already got candles starting to develop already. See that? That's that's because it's been so warm. These candles will probably be much longer by a month from now. We'll probably have candles by the by April, probably the beginning of April. Which is usually we have them by late April. So look at these shapes though. Man, this is incredible. Take a look at these shapes here, man. Yeah, this is an absolutely spectacular area as you see here. Look at these shapes here. This is an absolutely beautiful spot over here. Absolutely beautiful. Shapes here are amazing. Unfortunately, I still see the garbage that I saw here the last time. Here it is. Can't believe it. I reported this to the DEC. They did absolutely nothing. I mean, it's just yard waste, but still, I mean, this stuff is just dumped here. That, that's unbelievable. I want to check out that area over there because... Oh, look at these shapes here, though, man. All right, well, yeah, this area is incredible. Look at this. But I wanted to check out that other desert over there. I don't know. Maybe I'll check. There's a nice desert over there, you know. Look at these shapes here. We're going to go to that desert, too. Look at these shapes. I wanted to go to that other desert. We're running a little behind schedule. Uh, that desert's all the way over there. i got to go all the way over there. Oh, all right, look at these shapes here. To the desert. Ready to head to the desert, let's go. All right, I have to cross over the runways here. The desert's on the other side, and then I come back to this side. I don't know if I've got time. I don't know if I've got time, actually. <laughs> Do I have time? That is the question. And that's where they do the rag race, drag racing. Look at this beautiful open, open vista here. All right, so now we're where they do the drag racing. You can see all the trailers they've set up over here. Oh, the desert's over there. A little ways over there.
Oh, that drink can got there. They got they put these structures up here. The desert's over there. That's where it is. So I'll keep going in that direction. Oh, look at this beautiful wide open area and nothing but blue skies. Yeah, got these trailers here. Oh, that's what those water, those are water tanks that they dumped in the woods. They got a weather station over there. Launcher. And they got an ATM over here. Yeah. All right. Desert's that way. And then I gotta go back over there, all right? This is a vast area. You can see it's all pines over there, that's where we're heading. It's absolutely beautiful over here, I'll tell you. See how pristine this area is? I mean, just, yeah. Grasslands and Pine Barrens together. I mean, this is as almost wilderness as it gets here on Long Island. And that's the way it needs to stay. Another beautiful area here of nothing but pines. A little dim trail we'll take here. Take it to this beautiful desert. Look at this. Uh, we'll be in that desert in a moment here. This is just amazing over here. All right, so we're in this. We're gonna go to the desert in a little bit there, five few minutes. But let's just check out this area first. So some more shore pitch pines over here, and you can see this is just oh, this is beautiful. I mean, you really feel like you're somewhere in New Jersey. Sort of saying New Jersey over here. But again, what they say, they say if you, if you like scenes like this, you gotta shut up and go live in New Jersey. Why? When we have them right here. <laughs> oh, look at these shapes in here, man. This is an absolutely beautiful wilderness area here. Look at this. Yes, absolutely beautiful here. Yep, feels like you're in New Jersey. Alright, let's head over to the desert now. This is, told you it's amazing here, isn't it? Oh, delicious. Alright, welcome to the desert. <laughs> Well, that's a desert too, but this is a desert with a lot of younger pines here. Almost kind of reminds me of the dwarf pines over here a little bit. Man, look at these shapes. Yeah, this is a pretty beautiful desert over here, let me tell you. Yeah, these areas are always fantastic, I'll tell you. All right, so now I'm going to be... Not done with the desert area yet. We're going to make it right over here and uh, see some deer tracks here. Look at this. Feeling I was on the wrong trail. Okay. Gotta go back this way. Through the pines. Yeah, they don't move very stiff.
Look at these shapes here. Well, it turns out I was on the right trail after all. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna go back out of here now. This... Just saw that spot, I'm like, ooh. I don't go here that often, so I'm like, yeah. Look at these shapes in here. I mean, this is, yes, that's what it's all about right there, man. Yeah. Let's go over here for a minute. Might be another vista. And then we'll head out of here. Oh, they don't move at all. They are pretty tough trees, these trees, let me tell you. Look at these shapes here. So they're prickly. That's why I said they're prickly. <laughs> But they are beautiful. Okay, so now we are heading out of this section and heading back to the other side that we were on, on the other side of the runway, which is straight ahead, so. See, we've got people over there again. I think they train it, they're training dogs or something. Again, parked on the grass. Why do you have to park on the grass when you can park on the runway? See, are they really allowed to do that? All right, I'm gonna walk around them. All right, so we're coming up. Coming up to that area, we'll get cross over here, I guess. Back into the grass. I don't know if those people are permitted to do what they're doing here, but I'm not going to report them as long as they don't bother me. You don't bother me, I won't bother you. That's simple. Man, this is incredible over here. Ah, we got more shapes here. Here we go. I could follow the path over there, but why do that? And little shapes are over here. Man. Yeah, take a look at this. Man. Take a look at this. There's an ocean of pines here. Dense pine barren area. I think there's a little path for us. A little bit, maybe not. <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be a way in here. <laughs> the little pines are not not letting me out here. It's like a maze. Here we go. <sighs> you gotta get back in here. Ooh. Oh these trees they don't move. All right, check this out. Ah, 
We're back out over here, gang. Just a little quicker versus just walking through the... See the path right over there? I mean, just look at this beautiful open expanse here. Let's just leave this alone. It's beautiful. Now, if you've made it through the video and you've watched this whole far, you can see why I'm so passionate about protecting this area. This is one of the last really wild places on Long Island. I mean, yeah, there we have preserves and stuff, but this, is, this isn't protected. And this is why, I, again, I am begging the state of New York to realize how important this area is and tell Riverhead, no, you cannot sell to a developer, you cannot have development here. And if you do, we are going to take it via eminent domain because not only is it a key part of the Pine Barrens, but it's also about our drinking water. And yes, we can use eminent domain to protect drinking water. We legally have that right uh, as a state. So, so can Riverhead uh, get with it or we're going to have to fight Riverhead? But I'll keep fighting. Sometimes I feel like I don't... You know, but you gotta keep going. This is worth it to me, protect. If we lose this, then uh, what does that say for the rest of the Pine Barrens, you know? Yeah, it's all pines here. Alright, well, we're getting close to wrapping up this video here. This is actually part of the park here. So this, once we enter this part here, this is actually part that probably won't be touched. But, and again, don't be so sure because they want to have paintball in those woods over there. I guess I should show you the area that they want to do that in. Luckily, not this area. Oh, look at these shapes here, man. Damn. See how amazing this place is? <sighs> I mean, let's look at this. Yeah, the sun's getting already a little lower in the sky. We're gonna... We're gonna be ending this video shortly. Beautiful here. Yeah, let's check this area out here a little bit. Well, maybe not. I see some pokey things in here. Uh, no, I see some green bar in there and not getting cut up. <sighs> these reddish things. See these reddish things here? They got thorns on them, so you don't want to go through here. Yeah, that you don't want that. That is quite beautiful though, so maybe we may have to deal with it. Let's see. Luckily, they're not too high. Just take your time. Yeah, look at this scene here. We had to come in here. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's where they want to have the paintball. I guess I could see that area being okay, I guess. 
Is like that's a like a disturbed area over there. I guess. I'm not gonna be against everything, but I am against the drag racing. I'm against what those people were doing over there, parking on the grass like that. Alright. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of gas. Hmm, it's a long walk, you know. Probably covers at least five to seven miles to measure it out, but if you want to come and walk here, make sure you allow plenty of time. Don't come here at like two o'clock in the afternoon because there's a lot to see. It's going to be a really bad summer with that. It ticks. So I try to come here when it's cold in the morning. So you do not want to deal with that. This is another area where they might want to like put a like a some kind of rink or something. I mean this is a beautiful open field, leave it alone. You know? And if you look all the way down there, I'll zoom in. If you look all the way down there, yeah, those are actually table those are chairs from Tanger. Believe it or not. Yep. Tanger. When they remodeled Tanger, they, they dumped all the chairs here. I mean they're just concrete chairs. I mean, they could actually put them along the trail so people could sit down. They just have them all over there. All right. So, all right, almost done. This is this is the area where they kind of want to have the paintball. It's like a disturbed area. So, it's, you know, I don't see this area being an issue. Uh, wait, there's more pines over there. Oh, there's another desert over there. Holy, there's another one over there. Oh, I can't go over there. I don't have time for that. All right. There's a lot to see here. That's <laughs> the bottom line. Like I said, this is a beautiful, very important part of the Pine Barrens that must be protected. There's more pines that way. Um, but like I said, I'm out of time, so we're going to have to go this way. kind of wasting time here. that have a facility for a place for people to use the restroom or something but I can see that I kind of have to I guess it's one of those restrooms are provided by nature situations they build all this but they can't build a building with restrooms <laughs> uh, go figure yeah you'd think they would have all these nice picnic tables set up and everything but there's no restroom here that's, <laughs> I mean, how are you going to have a picnic if there's no restroom here? Well, there is one at the Calvinton National Cemetery, so. Oh, man. What a beautiful day it was today, I'll tell you. I know I stay longer, but I'm kind of out of energy at this point, so. Out of energy. Oh, I think I wrap up the video here. Uh, so again, beautiful place. If this is Ocean County, this would have all been a this would all been a park, but it's only this small area that's actually a park where we are now. Um, so I want to thank you for watching and remember what it's all about. Yeah, hope you got out there and enjoyed today's beautiful weather. It's all about those great shapes.